Welcome back, live out here at the River Market, ahead of the big pep rally. You know, Craig O'Neill shared a great story last night about the 75th anniversary of War Memorial, how the stadium came to be. The Razorbacks head coach was threatening to take the annual rivalry game with Texas to Memphis because they needed a bigger stadium. Well, the city of Little Rock and the state stepped up at that point, and ever since, the Razorbacks have been stepping out onto that field on a regular basis. The game has changed over all those years, but the important importance of a game to a city like Little Rock has not. With that in mind, let's bring in Gina Gemberling, who is the CEO of the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thanks for joining us. Spell it out for me. How big of an impact can a game like this have for your clients and the folks you represent? Sure. Um, tourism brings in millions of dollars into the local economy every year. And it's events such as this that really give tourism and the economy an extra boost, um, where people are spending dollars not just in our hotels and our restaurants but our retail establishments um, purchasing gas and all types of things as they travel now uh, we've mentioned how the game's been here for a long time it's a competitive game college athletics is competitive so is the fight between cities to get tourism dollars what have you learned over the years and has the cvb learned over the years that gives them an edge when a big event like this comes around you know it's our hospitality here in little rock um, from our residents to our hospitality tourism officials um, it's important for us to welcome our visitors, to, and we thought it was a perf this was a perfect type of event to bring our residents and our visitors together and really welcome the University and the Razorbacks back to Little Rock. It's going to be all kinds of red up in this area. you got plans for tonight, and then uh, how are you watching the game tomorrow? Out there at the stadium, of course. Yeah. Should be plenty of fun. Remember, we have the pep rally beginning at 7 o'clock, followed by the parade right down River Market. It'll wrap up here at the amphitheater. Coming up at 6, we're going to go up to where they're staging all of this, meet with the band and other folks, and get you the details you need to know if you plan on coming down.